We're now going to look at some of the, the brief issues on the reef and see whether there's at least a prima facie case that there are problems with the signs. And we're going to start off with something that might not be affect farmers, but this is the coral growth rates. And this is a very, very well-known um, uh, graph where you see the, uh, the growth rates go along more or less horizontally. On the left is 1990, on the right is the year 2000, and on the vertical axis is the coral growth rate. And you see it go along and then it suddenly collapses and it looks terrible, doesn't it? A 15% decline in only 15 years between 1990 and the year 2000. Well, it turns out there's a couple of flaws in this work. The way it worked was they take a great big piece of coral like that and they drill a hole in it and it turns out a large coral like that has tr things like tree rings as little stripes along the bottom, the thing on the bottom there. And you can actually measure the growth rate of this coral uh, by looking at the size of those rings. Well, it turned out they made two errors in that, that work. And when we corrected the errors, instead of on the left-hand side, you're seeing the, the dramatic decline in coral. On the right-hand side is the corrected result. And you see, in fact, if anything, the coral growth rate goes up. 